Okay, so today we're going to be learning how to animate jack-o'-lanterns for the month of October. So the first thing that you want to do is go in and touch the animation app. And when you come in here, you might see other people's artwork on here. And what I want to show you is the final product and how to get to that final product. So you can see this product right here is the one that I am referring to and I will show you what it looks like when we're done. So as you can see it's slowly showing it's getting carved and the lights turn on and I added a ghost and all those fun other things and it will repeat the same thing over and over again. I made this one as you can see as I drag it along I made it almost nine seconds long so it's a little short than nine. Whenever you're done or you want to go back to something, the first thing that you always want to do is just touch that back arrow named Gallery, and it'll take you back. So how did I make this whole scene come together? If you look at my drawing, we're going to start with the drawing of our jack-o'-lanterns first, because in order to make something come together, like in movies or your cartoons, they work in different layers. So this is the first one is going to be a drawing and then we're going to put it together as a drawing and a background. So on here is our pumpkin. I drew a pumpkin first. I gave it a stem and some leaves. And you can see at the very bottom here where I'm scrolling, I made lots of different frames. A frame is almost like stop motion where you take a picture, then you change it. Take a picture and change it. Take a picture and change it. So that's what we're basically doing on here. And you can see that it shows there's one frame out of 41. So I made 41 pictures. But here's the nice part. I did not draw 41 pictures. I copied them. So what I did is I drew this one first, and then I made a copy of it. And this time, you can see that my green stem on the right, I erased it. So it's just showing a little fadedness. And then the next one, I erased the next stem. So now it's blank. Here, I started to change the green stem to brown. And then I turned it all the way brown. And then I started drawing what would be the jack-o'-lantern's face. So as if I was carving it. I made a second one and then a third one. And as I'm making the mouth, I decided to make the mouth nice and slow because, you know, when you're carving the mouth, it takes a lot longer than just a triangle. So each time I drew a little bit, I'd add, a, I'd make a copy and I'd do it again, add more lines until eventually, as you can see, it comes together. And then what I did is I went in and I, I shaded it nice and dark and I colored all of them in and then I started adding the yellow. So that way, it would start looking more like a jack-o'-lantern. And then I just made several copies of the same image, so that way it would stay a jack-o'-lantern longer. How do we do that? When you start, you want to touch that plus sign in the upper right corner, and it asks you, do you want to make a new composition or a new drawing? We want to make a new drawing first. So touching the new drawing, this is what your screen will look like. Okay, so what you do next is we always want to use that paintbrush. And when I touch that paintbrush, it will come up and ask me what size brush I want. If it doesn't, just touch it again and it'll pop up. So I can make my brush size bigger or I can make it smaller. And I kind of like it smaller. Then choosing a color. I know my pumpkin should be orange, right? So using that, I'm going to then draw my pumpkin shape. Here is my pumpkin shape. I can touch the paint bucket and fill it in. What I'll then do is I'm going to touch my paintbrush again, and I'm going to change to a darker orange color. And now I'm going to draw my pumpkin lines, because pumpkins have lines inside, right? There we go. So there's my pumpkin. 
I'm going to give it a green stem and I can fill it in and then I'm going to draw my little fun thing, right? Once I've done my drawing, the next thing you're going to do is there's two things. There's a plus sign and then there's a square with a plus sign in the bottom corner right next to the trash can. I'm going to touch the one that has the plus and the square and it makes a copy. Now I made my copy. I'm going to touch my eraser. And you can make your eraser size whatever size you want and I'm going to erase one of my stems. And it makes it kind of faint. I'm going to plus it again. This time I'm going to erase this one. And here I drew on my pumpkin a little bit. And that's okay. It kind of took a chunk out of it. What I can do is go back in with my paintbrush and I just do my pumpkin corner piece here again. Fill it in. No big deal. Right? I'm going to do a plus sign. And then now you can leave your stem green if you want or you could color it like I had. It's completely up to you. I think I'm ready to start carving. So I'm going to choose black and I'm going to make mine nice and small because the 18 is really big. I'm going to make a smaller paintbrush and I'm going to start with my eye and I'm going to do a plus sign. Draw my next one. I can even do a plus sign earlier if you really want and make it nice and slow. I can start drawing the nose and see I'm just hitting the plus sign and I'm making it come together. And maybe the mouth, I don't know, I might draw something different this time. Plus sign, plus sign, maybe I want it to be open. Okay, and this time I'm going to give it a fun little tooth. Maybe a little tooth down here. He looks silly, huh? Next, I'm going to fill it in. I got one, and I'm just hitting the plus sign. And that's what slows everything down nicely, is it just makes it easier when we go to, and see if you really need to zoom in, you can zoom in and get some of those areas that don't want to. Okay? And I do a plus sign. Now, I'm already at 21 frames and I want to make my pumpkin look like it has some lights inside. So I'm going to change my color and I'm going to change it to the light, right? And I want to draw the pumpkin light inside here. It's on, plus sign, because now the lights are turning on, right? Okay, keep adding that plus sign. And you can draw whatever you'd like. It's easier sometimes to just fill it in yourself. Cool. Okay. And then what I did, and you don't have to do it, you are the artist. All I did is I gave it a little bit of shadow in the bottom because I was going to have it outside. So I gave it a little bit of shadow. And you, again, you don't have to do the shadow. It's up to you. Okay. So now you can touch the little play button at the top and it's going to show you our pumpkin. It's really fast because this is only in the drawing. All right, and then once I touch the screen, I can touch done at the top corner. And here's my awesome pumpkin. We want to bring it together and now make a film, okay? So to make our film, I'm going to hit the gallery and then the plus sign. And this time we're going to make a new composition. In our new composition, let's bring in a background first. What's nice about this app is there's a lot already. So touch the cloud. And in the cloud, they have all sorts of different things. So I want to have maybe a night sky is what I did. Night. I searched night. And these are all the cool little things. I kind of like this chairs and paper lanterns. It looks fun. So I'm going to touch that one. And when you touch it, it brings it into this awesome screen. But what I want you to notice is in here, that black square that you see 
is how big that piece of paper is. And this image that we have is too big. So if I press play, you're going to notice that the image isn't really fitting on there. I like those lanterns swinging. That's really pretty. So what I will do is I'm going to shrink it. And I'm going to make sure it fits a little bit closer. I don't want the whole, I don't want to see any white, so I might make it a little bit too big. You know, that's okay. All right, so now I've got this. What I want you to notice is, oops, I forgot to touch the screen. There we go. Is that green dot in here. If I touch this green dot and I move it, my image moves. So I'll press play and you'll see the image moved. If you don't want that, there's a um, square that has an arrow coming out of it at the bottom. And here it says reset. So when you touch reset, it brings it back to where it was. So just be careful as you're playing with it. If you want the image to move, that's completely up to you. You can. But for this one, I don't. So now I have my background. And I'm going to bring my pumpkin in now. So I'm going to touch the star. And the star is everything you've drawn. Here's the pumpkin that I made with you guys. And it comes in really big, right? So I'm going to shrink my pumpkin. And I'm going to place my pumpkin on this table. Now, if you want your pumpkin to move, maybe my pumpkin is going to move and decide to go sit here. Okay? That's the fun part. Now, <clears throat> you're going to notice where the time is. And this is all the complicated steps. So if you just want to do your drawing, you can. But this is more of the... Um, challenge part. So touch the little arrow and it shows you how many seconds this is. Well my pumpkin looks really fast and I don't want it to be that fast. So I'm going to touch the diamond on my pumpkin here and I'm going to make it maybe I want my pumpkin to take eight seconds to show the video. And then I'm going to <laughs> uh, make the background bigger, or longer too. So I'm going to move it this way. Awesome. So now it is eight seconds long. Let's see if that looks nice and it's okay. My pumpkin still looks like it's going really fast. So this is the trick. When I touch my pumpkin, so you can see which one's selected. I want to make sure my pumpkin is selected. The little gear is where I can change how fast it is. So I like to slow down my pumpkin really slow. And now let's see if that's the speed that I want it to change. Yay! When I notice, when I look at my pumpkin, because I slowed it down this much, is it's not lit up for very long, right? So this is the nice part when it's something you've created. Go back to gallery. I'm going to go into my image. And my pumpkin that I had all light up, I'm going to duplicate it a couple times because I want it to be a longer video. Let me go back into my video now and let's see if this is long enough. Perfect. That's all I wanted. And that's it. So if you found, if you, oh, I know. I had in my other one, I added in a ghost. You can add in lots of different things when you go into the cloud. And it's got all sorts of props and things already there for you. It has, you know, some bats and so forth. It could tell that I was looking up certain Halloween ones. Um, so you'll, sometimes you can search so I searched ghost the last time, and you could bring in your ghost by touching it and just playing with it the way you want. That is it.